welcome you all to the workshop on entrepreneurship skill, attitude, and behavior development organized by the Postgraduate Department of Economics under the aegis of the Institutions Innovation Council 501. 5, 5.0. The PG Department of Economics was established in 1968. Economics Honors was introduced in 1991 and its second unit was added in 2004. The department introduced post-graduation in the year 2012. The department has time and again proved its mettle with its students securing top positions in the university examining, examinations. The students of MA Economics backed eight university positions in the year 2017-18, four university positions in 2018-19, and 2021. The Ministry of Human Resource Development with the vision of creating and promoting a culture of innovation amongst institutions of higher education has founded the MHRD Innovation Cell. MCM DAV for Women is privileged to be amongst the 1,600 institutions selected to take this vision forward. The Institutions Innovation Council of the college was established on 21st November 2018. Since its inception, IIC has conducted various workshops, seminars, and activities to encourage, inspire, and nurture young students by supporting them to work with new ideas. IIC is working to enhance entrepreneurial skills, and this workshop is a testimony to it. IIC 2.0 for the year 2019-20 and IIC 3.0 for the year 2020-21 backed a four-star rating. For the session 2021-22, IIC 4.0 got a 3.5-star rating. The IIC of MCM DAV College works under the able guidance of its president, Principal Nisha Bhargav, and Vice President Dr. Indu Arora, Dr. Ni Dr. Neetu is the convener of IIC, and Ms. Chris Pindra and Dr. Amandeep Kaur, Ms. Sonali Meh Mehendi Ratha are the coordinators for today's workshop. About the resource person, today we have with us Shoya Manjal, a passionate serial entrepreneur who has mentored more than 23 successful startups so far. She's a brand strategist by profession, a business graduate by qualification, and an orator at heart. She has done her business graduate in innovation. She has done her business graduation in innovation and entrepreneurship from Symbiosis Institute of Business Management, Pune. In 2018, she took a plunge to start her own venture called Two Hazy Circles, a unique platform that encouraged and enabled people to express themselves better professionally, personally, and publicly. It made a huge impact on the audience and gained popularity quickly. In 2021, she retook the road to entrepreneurship by parallelly launching her second venture called The Brand Narrative, one, a one-stop solution to all branding and marketing needs. She has helped multiple startups grow and numerous individuals make their dreams come true and take their first steps because usually that is the most difficult one providing guidance to find their niche and turning it into business with zero investment is a favorite step of the journey. With this, I invite her to the dice. Thank you. Well, we find out how worthy I am of it across this, you know, six hours long workshop. How many of you plan to stay till the end? And how many of you plan to like skip it after lunchtime or something because bus. So I didn't get a lot of hand raises from your honest people. They're like, we don't know, we'll figure it out. If you have it in you, we'll say. If you don't like it, we'll just go. Honest, love it, right? I just want to really thank the coordinators here. I think he just put in so much of effort in organizing these events, and we barely realize the, the amount of time that you have to put in to like find the right resource person, right? It's obviously, they have other things to do, and then to take out time for that, it is absolutely exceptional. So I really, Really want you guys to thank them from the bottom of your heart and just give them a huge round of applause for going beyond their dreams, right? And taking initiatives or something like this, you know, helping people explore their juices of entrepreneurship, it's really exciting, it's very exciting. So where do we start from? Ma'am, do you have any ideas? Where should we start from? Like, what is the topic that you want me to first, like, first question you want me to ask them? Problem solving as the title suggests. Problem solving as the title suggests. Do we always think of titles? We judge a book by its cover, do we or do we not? 
we do you know selection of what which is the best option kuch naya nahi hai but same cheez ko they have given a very fancy name to make it look happening otherwise who's going to read them na right you need a happening name so that's what happens this is why ideation and problem solving became huge thing but we do it every day so let's look at this workshop from this perspective that we are going to have fun we will use real life examples we we'll do what we do best which is interact with each other kus 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 talk beech mein you know make some comments beech mein we have that kind of fun because when you are making comments and when you are doing this commentary in a way you are still ideating <coughs> किसी पे कमेंट्री हो रही होती है ना ओ गॉड यू कब छोड़ेगी क्लास राइट व्हाट आर यू थिंकिंग अबाउट यू थिंकिंग ऑफ आइडियाज टू गेट आउट ऑफ द क्लास मैम आई हैव दिस टुडे बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है इज इट स्टिल ऑन ऑन ऑलरेडी गुड टू गो ओके परफेक्ट ठीक है सो व्हाट आर यू डूइंग यू थिंकिंग ऑफ आइडियाज ऑफ हाउ टू गेट आउट ऑफ द क्लास यू विल मैसेज समबडी टू कम एंड टेक यू आउट राइट जस्ट बी लाइक बस जाके ये बोल दे कि इस चीज के लिए चाहिए है ना सो दिस इज ऑल आइडियाशन This is all ideation. We just I'll just give you fancy words to look smart. You remember those words and look smart aage se. And what we'll do is I'll help you to make better ideas. Abhi hum wahi same ideas bana rahe hain. Let your friend know to call you, right? Or just be like oh my stomach is really aching. I need to go to the whatever, you know. So or something. Just the those same excuses are coming up again and again. Today I'll help you find new excuses so that you can ideate better. <laughs> Done, eh? Teachers sitting along with having the guts to say that in front of them—it's not a good idea. <laughs> But that's what it is, right? Ideation is everywhere. Let's not restrict it to business. But applying it to business can also give you the money that you need. So let's learn a little bit of that too. ठीक है? So what we'll do today is we'll talk about techniques. we'll make you learn fancy words and make you look smart because that's important right these jargons are what so what why do we do mba tell me something what is mba about kya hoti hai mba full form kya hai how many of you are preparing for it second year mein hai aur how many of you are planning to prepare for it what do you think you'll learn what do you think you'll learn in mba vague idea Guys, शर्माओ मत क्या हो जाएगा गलत हो जाएगा इफ यू रियली वॉन्ट गो फॉर एन एम बी एव द कॉन्फिडेंस टू स्पीक बिकॉज द वन थिंग दैट यू डू अ लॉट इन एम बी एस गिव प्रेजेंटेशन ऑल द टाइम कुछ नहीं पढ़ाना उन्होंने वो सिंपल ये बोलेंगे दिस इज द चैप्टर गो रीड इट मेक प्रेजेंटेशन कम एंड एक्सप्लेन द क्लास टीचर वुड बी सिटिंग एंड गिविंग यू ग्रेड्स ऑन इट नॉट इवन करेक्टिंग यू बी प्रिपेयर फॉर इट सो प्लीज स्पीक अप स्पीक अप मैनेजमेंट क्या वॉट यू मीन मैनेजमेंट वॉट इज मैनेजमेंट ओके 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 कम कम सीट हाँ जी time management mm hmm how you manage your life better i like the the insertion of like goals and time management and certain words there very interesting love it okay aur batao operational works operations operational works uh okay operational works is like operations of the company right how do things proceed how do things happen operations right kuch aur kuch bhi Okay, sounds good. Anything else? Quickly, quickly answers. Problem Team management. Team management. Very good. Problem solving. Problem solving. Okay. Yep. How to coordinate with your colleagues? How to coordinate with your colleagues? HR. Right. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Again. All right. So I did my MBA from SIBM Pune. The ones who are preparing for it, you know, it's not easy to get into. Right. ठीक है मतलब आई एम वाला वो नहीं है बट प्री टफ टू गेट इन रियली टफ टू गेट इन सो आई स्कोर लाइक अ डीसेंट स्कोर इन कैट कुड नॉट गेट थ्रू आई एम ओ आई कुड गेट थ्रू लाइक आई एम अमृतसर एंड वो सब सो आई डेंट वॉन्ट दैट वेंट फॉर एस आई बी एम पुणे बिकॉज अ रेप्यूटेड कॉलेज राइट 
and I had really high hopes. I was like, I am really good. I did pretty well in my engineering, so I'm also an engineer. So I was like, I did well in my engineering. I think I'm gonna kill it in MBA. Because I'm gonna learn so much and I'll become like unbeatable after this. And then I went for an MBA. And then I realized whatever I knew is whatever I, I'm gonna get out of it, okay? So the only learning was, can you be confident, which I was? Can you go on the stage and talk, which I could? Can you use jargons to sound smart? I already did that because I was working in a company, so I knew all of those KRAs and you know fancy words and uh, humble responsibilities. And I would just go on the stage and be like, yeah, this is a humble responsibility. And people would look at me like, oh, very smart. And I have no idea still what humble responsibilities mean. I do not know. I kid you not. I swear on my mother, I don't know what humble responsibilities mean. Right? But it's about, it's about the perception that you create. Right? What are you doing? You're creating an idea in somebody's head that you are smart. What are they doing after that? They are perceiving you to be like, oh, this person is smart. Let me like be around this person more or, you know, let's learn from this person more or you hurt their ego because they also think they're pretty good and they're like, oh, another good person. Hmm. <laughs> Competition. Yeah, that could happen. So what are you doing in your head? You are essentially igniting someone's ideation and now they're going to solve the problem. How? either by competing with you or learning from you or becoming your apprentice or something, right? I'm just giving you really life, real life examples that we do every single day and we do not realize that it is ideation and problem solving, right? So when you get out of this room tomorrow and you are like, you're sitting in your library and doing something, thinking about planning a birthday for somebody or something, just be like, I am ideating right now, <laughs> right? That's it. So. Yes, everything has a meaning. There's a reason why we learn problem solving and ideation, right? It's not just jargons. Do you understand the word jargon? Do you know what that means? Can you tell me what it means? If it's wrong answer, that's also fine. No, no problem. Just go ahead. What are jargons? It's a particular vocabulary for a particular like, uh, area or subject. Like if we have economic jargons. Killed it. Exactly this. I could not have explained it better. Right? Can you say that again? It is a particular vocabulary for a particular Dheere, dheere. Dheere, dheere. Yes. Like we have economic jargons, uh -huh. jargons. Uh -huh. if, if we talk about economic jargons, we have GDP, we have uh, investment, uh, etc. Et so anybody who's not from your department might not know those words. Those are jargons, speciality words, which make you feel like you are a master in your subject. Okay, got it. So I just wanted to like take that thought out of your head. Keep ideation pata nahi kya hoti hai and problem solving pata nahi kya hoti hai. This is it. We'll just find better ways of doing it. Because what happens is, in your head, how you think will determine how you solve a problem. Thik baat hai? Right? If you think haphazardly, agar dimaag mein ye chal raha hai, yaar ye kar sakte hai, but ye bhi to kar sakte hai, but aisa bhi to ho sakta hai. Will you ever be able to come out on a conclusion? No. You'll keep thinking. Most of us do that. Right? We are compulsive thinkers. We'll still think of the worst case scenario. But this could also be it. Na? She could be saying because of this. She could be sleeping. And you could be like, this could be the reason why she's not picking up my phone. Because day before yesterday, when we were sitting in the cafeteria and I had asked her to give her share, she didn't have it. So she's not picking up my phone. She could be sleeping. Right? So how you think in your head will determine, uh, determine how fast you'll solve problems. How fast and effectively you will ideate. Okay? So that's what we are going to understand today. How to think quickly. How to come up with the best solutions. How to be ahead of your other team members. And how to outshine them. Okay? This is what we need to learn. Okay? So you come out to be this really smart person who's like, Ye sakte hai, yaar. clear ideas in your head. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Rather than be like, either we can do this or this is the it does not work in jobs. It does not work in business at all. Jobs mein to shayad fir bhi chal jaye. In business, if you do it, till the time you're thinking what is going to happen, you have already lost some amount, right? It could be deadly for any business. How many of you want to be entrepreneurs here? Is there anyone? You want to be? Okay, awesome. Love that. Anybody else? Yeah, sharmao mat. Agar banna chahte to own it, na? Just be like, I want to be an entrepreneur. You be tomorrow or not, that's another thing. But if you have that zeal and you accept it, 
Anybody here? You want to be? You've still not risen your hand. Come on. Yeah. Awesome. Anybody else? Okay. Great. I think the person who will probably be most confident about starting the business would be the one who raised her hand first because she was not hesitant about it. So the probability of her doing better business, shuru sare kar sakte hai, but the probability of her doing better business is more. How do you know that? Clarity in thoughts. She knows it. She just quickly rose her hand without thinking about it. How many of other, everybody else wants to take up jobs? Are there, okay. You want to take up a job? Okay. Any particular fields that you have in mind? Because then I'll give you examples based on that. Any particular field in mind? Kis ki job karni hai? Okay, banks. Or Uska example nahi dena chati. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'll give you. Huh? Okay, teaching. Huh? Teaching, did you say? Banking. Any other job? HR. HR? Do you want to go for MB after this and then go for HR? Or do you want to directly try? MB after this. Okay. Okay. Anybody else? Koi or job ka idea kisi ko kya chahiye? Economist, what are you going to do as an economist and where can you work? Researcher. Okay, researcher. That is, that is like clearer. Okay. Fata fat, fata fat. Anybody else? I just want to give you the right example so that you get most out of this workshop. So I, I want to understand. Civil servant, okay. Great. Business bhi karogi or civil servant bhi banogi? <laughs> Dono. Can be done. See what you do, want to do first. Because when you are a civil servant, you cannot run a parallel business. Clarity, civil servant, then I go for entrepreneurship. If that does not work out. So that's a plan B. Perfect. Has a plan B. Very good. Okay. Done. Koi your answers hai? Right. Absolutely. Kyun hona chahiye ye? Ek hi life hai? If we don't explore all options, how will we get to know what we want to do? That's not a bad thing. My, my dad calls me like super fickle minded. I've been doing the same business for years. He still thinks like you changed, you know, lines too quickly. And I'm like, no, I keep adding lines because I have dreams. Right? So I started a business. It started doing well. I gave it time. I started another one because I really wanted to. I'm good at brand management. I've done it all my life. My first job was in branding. I love brand management. I don't want to do it now <laughs> after two years of starting the business because it's like so much work. But I still love it. So I started. I realized that I love it. But I don't want to do it full time. If tomorrow I want to shut the business, I gave it a shot. No regrets. As long as you're not, you're not putting yourself down and being like, shit, my business did not work. My life is over sort of a feeling. It's all good. Think about it. Think of various options. I'll tell you why to think of various options. Let's start with the PPT quickly. What we'll do is we'll cover ideation in the first half. We'll cover problem solving in the second half. Okay. So the reason why we need to ideate is super simple. We need to think of all the possible options that we have, right? And all the ideas present in the room to be able to come up with the best one to solve a problem, right? In that, all of that happens. Utilization of resources, innovation, all of these things happen in the process. And becoming a successful person is like the second step of it, right? When you've already ideated, you've found the best solution, and then people recognize you for that solution. That's when you get a long journey, very long journey. Okay? So, ideation is liye Simple, nothing complicated, clear explanation. We need to find the best solution. Can we all, okay, um, Ruchi, can you help me out with this? Beta, just here, take this out from here. Just give them the sheets. I don't know how many kids are there, but I have a few. Right, what do we aim to achieve? Clear, eh? What do we aim? Do we know what do we aim when we are ideating? What is the aim? When we are ideating, what are we trying to achieve? out of that ideation is best possible, best possible solution or kuch innovation sara kuch jo pehle discuss kiya tha right awesome let's go ahead all right guys this is really important to understand the four golden rules of ideation okay if you keep this in mind 
you'll be more confident in sharing your ideas and you will definitely be more confident in sitting down with multiple people and ideating. What happens is we're comfortable ideating with our own selves. Hum betenge, we'll write down points, we'll write down ideas, right? But it gets difficult to sit down with other people and ideate. Why? Why does it get difficult? Yeah, because human nature, multiple, multiple opinions, conflict of interest, right? You guys are absolutely spot on and on the right track. What can stop us from sharing our ideas and coming up to the best one is what we have here, right? This will always tell you to do the right thing. But what you have here, which will be, oh, what the other person will think about me. What if this person gives a better idea than I did? What if I'm not the star in the room? Right? So some people compete without any reason, without thinking about the goal. Okay? There must be one or two like really popular kids in your class who are always giving answers. Right? That happens. That's human nature. That's okay. But if you let that come in between your ideation, if tomorrow you are in a team, if tomorrow you are a business owner, that is what will kill you, I promise you. If I am not good enough to take opinions of other people and say that this was smarter than my idea, then I'm a bad entrepreneur. My team should be smarter than I am because I have done what I wanted to do. I opened the company, I started it. Now, if I don't hire people better than me, we are not growing. Simple, okay, but very difficult to do. When your team does better, it's sometimes difficult to take it. It kind of hit on your ego sometimes, yeah? But if you let go of that, best ideas. Ultimately, kya karna hai? we want to do good business. That should be your goal. Whenever you're thinking about the goal, you will not let your emotions come in between. When you're thinking about yourself, always, always that ego emotions will come in, okay? So always think about the goal when you're ideating. Super important. First, there's, there are no bad ideas. Okay, sometimes a person would be like, let me give you an example. We are organizing a fest and somebody would be like, I want to call, uh, I want to call Coca-Cola. And everybody will be like, ha, Coca-Cola aega yaan par, who's going to call Coca-Cola? Tum le kya hoge? Right? Shoot down the answer ek dam se. That means you'll not try it. You'll not even have it on the paper. It's not even in discussion. Can you reach there then? If it's not even on the paper? Will you be able to call Coca-Cola if you have not even like written it on the paper? You won't be able to, right? So what we do is we shoot down answers because they're not practical enough, right? Or we feel like, oh, this is too far-fetched. But if you can't do it today, do it tomorrow, write it down. Don't shoot down, you know, people's ideas. So just be like, okay, we'll write that down, right? Write it down. Even if you'll know, you know in your heart you will not do anything with it, write it down. Because then you have an aim. Kya pata aaja yaar Coca-Cola? Right? Who knows? And a possibility could be that if you couldn't do it and this time the fest happens really well, next year you will tell your juniors, aim for Coca-Cola, you can, you can do it, you know. Wo rehta hai dimaag mein, if you write it down. If you shoot down the suggestion, it's out. Okay? What is there in Likhit? is there in the world. Otherwise, it's just thoughts. Thoughts do not matter. Nobody can hear them. Got it? Clear? Yeah, whenever you're clear now, just click your fingers, okay? Whenever I'm like clear and you're clear, just be like, yeah. A sound will be very peaceful. Okay? Okay. So next thing, capture everything. That's what I told you. If it's not on the paper, it does not exist. Capture everything. Also, tell me something. How many times do you think you will remember a name and then next second you forget it? Or how many times do you think, ma'am, ye padha rahe hai, even if I don't write it down, I will write it in the exam paper, mujhe tab tak yaad rahega. <laughs> you don't remember, right? This is the biggest lie we tell ourselves. Has it ever happened to you? You've gotten the best idea raat ko sone se pehle and you're like, I will get up in the morning and do it and then you're like, kya idea tha? <laughs> Happens with me all the time. So now I've been like, even if it's 3 a.m. in the morning, I will just take my phone and draw, drop a voice note and be like, I got this crazy idea at night. Just want to like put it down. Yeah, yeah, yes, it's Jopi. Because I'll forget it the next morning. It is for sure. My brain is not good enough to remember it. Okay? So we lie to ourselves, ki ye to yaad 
This is very basic, right? And then you also put things together. Oh, your birthday falls on this date. I'll definitely remember it. It is also my mother's birthday. You'll only remember mother's birthday. You will never, never remember your friend's birthday. Even if it's the same thing and you associate it, right? So what do we need to do? Capture it. Done? Next, go hybrid brainstorming. Very important. Pele khud socho ke. Write down your ideas. What, what happens is when a lot of people are brainstorming, like a lot of people are listening to me right now, some people will be distracted. Some people will get zoned out. Okay, and then they'll come back eventually, but they'll immediately in between get zoned out, right? So in that case, what happens is when you're sitting in a group now, nobody is responsible for ideas. If you can think of something great, somebody else will, right? What happens when two people are taking responsibility? You put it on each other, huh? So take an example, ghar ka. You were done with your dinner, leftovers were there, you put it in the dabbe mein, right? And then you put it there, but your mom puts it in the fridge every night. Even if you know it has to be put in the fridge, you'll not put it. You put it in the fridge, but you'll not put it in the fridge because it's her job. And what if she forgets? It will stay out of So nobody is responsible for it then. You're getting my point? So your mom has to take care of it. Okay? So this is very important that you first make a list of ideas that you have, fir group karo, Take it. Then sit as a group, discuss, go back to individual thinking, come back again. You'll have the best ideas. Because when you are responsible for ideas, everybody is like, oh, I will bring four ideas, you will bring four ideas, then everyone feels responsible. If you're like, let's sit down and find four ideas, it will get difficult. Q responsibility. Okay? Got it? Your brain works that way. Abhi mein time hai, abhi mein I can zone out. But when you are sitting down and putting it down, you will put them down. Okay? If I'm also going too slow, you tell me, okay? Just be like, haan, samaj aage, aage badho. Okay? <laughs> because that happens with me. Sometimes in my classes, I'd be like, yes, ma'am, samaj aage, please. Come on, aage. Okay? So let me know. Just do this. I'll go faster if you don't understand. I'm just trying to make sure that you understand all of this. It's a little pace. Ho rakha hai. For me, it's a little slow. Lage to bata dena. Okay? Quantity over quantity over quality. We always say quality is better. Quality time spent karte. Quantity does not matter. Everybody who's busy in life will say that. Because hey, 20 minutes to 20 minutes ko acha banate hain. You'll never be like, let's spend two hours together. You'll be like, I had 20 minutes. Let, let's make the best of it. Because people don't have time. But this is the only exception. Only place where we have this exception. We need quantity. Quality dekhi jayegi. We'll put them down. We'll make further categories. What can we do right now? What is far-fetched? Sab pata chal jayega. But put down every single point. Even if it is absolutely unreasonable. Next time, you're sitting with your friends and they give you an idea and you don't like it, please don't be that person who's like, please yaar, give better ideas. Please don't do that. Because it, you don't realize, but you're actually putting that in that person's head that my idea is not good enough. They might think twice before saying it next time. So you're doing unintentional damage. It's not even a joke. Okay? And this will affect them everywhere. In their jobs, in their businesses, everywhere. So unintentionally also, please don't do that to your friends. Okay? Let them be. Nahi acha idea kya ho jayega. Okay? Awesome. Next. Um, if you do want to write, ek pari, uh, Ruchi, can you go back? If you do want to write these points, just put them on paper so that you know the process and you remember it because these are really important. This is like the backbone of ideation. Done quickly, quickly put it down. That will help you do most of the things in life. Could be absolutely anything. Could be your relationships. Okay. Could be your work. 
could be your studies, could be absolutely anything. Okay. So next time your friend comes to you with like a relationship problem, make a mind map. Okay. <laughs> problem solving. Let's do it the right way, na? Faltu ke advice kam hamesha hi dete hain. But let's do it the right way. Okay. So let's try to do that. How many of you think this is exciting? Okay. Economics wale bache isliye you like difficult stuff that's great but let's very simply understand this because it's a simple concept and I don't like this mind map. I'll tell you how to make one. Super interesting method, okay? Ek bari ruchi wapas pichli wali slide pe jana. Before we study mind map, I want you guys to do something. Put down a list of all the things. Listen to the task carefully. Put down a list of all the things that you see in your college. Okay? Jo bhi aas paas dikhta hai, kuch bhi ho sakta hai. Things. Think of as many things as you can. Take care. Jitni bhi soch sakte ho, socho and make a list. म्यूजिक कहाँ से आ रहा लग रहा है? इतने ध्यान से कि वो शीज़ फिगरिंग आउट समथिंग ऑल राइट गर्ल्स यू हैव लाइक टू मिनट्स लेफ्ट ओके लास्ट टू मिनट्स टेक योर टाइम एंड थिंक अबाउट इट थिंक हार्ड नाउ फर्स्ट टेन वर सुपर इजी या आफ्टर दैट यू नीड टू थिंक थिंक अबाउट इट One minute left. Come on, guys, think about it. Think hard. Thirty seconds.
ओके डन हाउ मेनी कड यूर लिस्ट मैक्सिमम किसका है ओके मोर देन टेन रेज योर हैंड मोर देन टेन एवरीबडी मोर देन फिफ्टीन मोर देन ट्वेंटी मोर देन ट्वेंटी फाइव मोर देन थर्टी वी कुड नॉट रीच थर्टी डिड वी थर्टी कितने थर्टी सिक्स थर्टी सिक्स इज अ गुड नंबर ऑल राइट लेट्स गेट यू माइंड मैपिंग नेक्स्ट स्लाइड लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट वी डूइंग हेयर ओके वी टॉकिंग अबाउट हेल्थी फूड इन दिस केस वी टॉकिंग अबाउट योर कॉलेज राइट हाउ मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ हेल्थी फूड्स टू वी हैव योर वी हैव बल्ब वी हैव वेजिटेबल्स बीन्स वी हैव फ्रूट्स राइट now for the categories in vegetables we have carrots broccoli potatoes you know in leaves further in vegetables we have leaves and in leaves further we have lettuce cabbage beans we have you know lentil peanut um orange lime le- oh okay this is important fruits may cherry mango plum banana coconut and then we come to lemon lemon may further bifurcation of orange lime right guys i need a volunteer anyone i need a volunteer quickly aadha wala hath mein consider nahi karti theek hai pura hath confidently uthaoge to definitely you're the one she actually did raise her hand very confidently love that um i'll put you on a spot okay tell me 10 things that are yellow in color Come on, come on. Ten things that are yellow in color. Lemon. But in nature, okay? Huh. Lemon. Sun. Okay. Guys, no, no helping here. Okay. Can you think of fruits that are yellow? Think about fruits that are yellow. Okay. Well, yeah. Can you think of vegetables that are yellow? Yes. Okay. Can you think of spices that are yellow? Can you think of flowers that are yellow? Sunflower. You see the difference? Yes. Ma'am. When I tell you to think something yellow, where does your brain go? Everywhere. And then you can't think of anything because you're thinking everywhere. If you categorize your thoughts, you're able to figure things out. Yeah. Our thinking pattern. 99% of times is this way where you think of a thing and then you think everything related to it right that's why we are not able to come up with the best ideas we are not categorizing our thoughts that's why we need a mind map you getting my point once you start building this mind map often you will be able to do it in your mind also when i think of things when i think of topics okay for example how did i create this workshop so i take a full fledged workshop called growing the entrepreneurial mindset okay it includes everything it's a six days workshop includes everything then i take another workshop called growing the intrapreneurial mindset intrapreneur is when you use your entrepreneurial mindset and skills in somebody else's business in somebody else's company so it's not your company it's not your business you are in a job but you've taken the responsibility to think like an entrepreneur so less resources make aise maximum profits right you're doing better problem solving you're doing better uh, communication with your team all of these things you'll be able to achieve when you talk about entrepreneurship so i do these full fledged courses okay i don't do parts of it usually like online or otherwise so the requirement today was ideation and problem solving how did i make this course i was sitting and i talked about okay let's think about ideation ideation may let's think about things that one must know about ideation that are like the really golden rules of ideation okay next step should be if they want to think that way because if you want all the ideas to be there if you want to take all the ideas and then pick the best ones then how do you come up with those ideas then let's learn mind map you know so in my mind i'm creating that mind map of how i can create the course you understanding my point ye course bhi waise hi bana hai because you need